Hi everyone. Hey. Just got back from a run. Oh, 15k. Yeah. Um, feeling amazing. Just wanted to share that I don't actually exercise very often. I maybe actually get out to run 5k's twice a week. Probably do two or three swims if I'm lucky. And other than that, I'm just cycling 5k's each way to work most days. But by treating your body so well, I'm not restricting the calories you're putting in, but only putting in calories from amazing sources like bananas and fruits and vegetables. Nothing else, no oil, no, nothing processed, nothing preserved, nothing too fatty and heavy. I'm just giving your body energy. Um, it's amazing how I can then just say, all right, I'm going to try a 15K run and I can do it. And I could have run further. It's just I have a really bung knee and it won't let me. But yeah, I feel amazing. Had so much energy. Could probably have actually easily done our 5K run on top of that. But yeah, these won't let me. So pretty much if you go vegan, you'll be the same. Eat healthy, run long. I, I'd like to share that I don't actually run that much. Oh wait, no, I do run a lot. <laughs> Yesterday I ran 25K. Maybe runs a lot. I run a lot. But yeah, so I just wanted to share that. So go eat your bananas for breakfast. Or dates. Drink enough water. Or dates. Be nice to yourself. Oh, okay. days. You can go on a 15 run, K run too. Yeah. Okay. Right. Bye. Should we have some breakfast? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to have a pretty dainty smoothie to make up for the calories that I lost. So here we go. Days. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, that should be enough. Check a bit of cashew butter in. Ooh. New cashew butter. That's exciting. Maybe Beth got some yesterday. Mmm. Mmm. Few hemp seeds. Chocolate hemp seed powder. Water. Ice cubes. More water. Top. Blend. beautiful smoothie. Good evening. Good evening. We're cooking dinner. We're having this steam fry of vegetables. We've got diced pumpkin, diced beets, uh, sweet pepper, kale, spring greens and zucchini and celery. Yum. All mixed up with a bit of water, smoked paprika and sumac. We're wrapping it up in spring, spring greens. We're eating some oil-free chippies which are in the oven and I'm going to make some tomato sauce to have on our wraps. Yum! So, what you will need. This is the easiest tomato sauce recipe. Okay. We've shared it before and it had smoked paprika in it but we're not doing that tonight because we've already got it in our dish. So uh, three tomatoes I'm going to say. 
I've soaked 12 sun-dried tomatoes just to moisten them a little. Literally, that's all I'm putting in this. It might take a minute to get blending because the liquid hasn't come out of the tomato yet, but we'll give it a go. Use the thingy. No, it's done. Done? Look. Yummy. Done. Oh, it smells amazing. Yeah. Oh, that smells amazing. Right. Oh. So, over dinner, we're going to share with you why we went vegan and why veganism is important to us. Dinner is served. Let's talk about why we are vegan. We had an amazing dinner, by the way. The best way you vegan. Because I want to be as kind and peaceful to all living beings as possible. And I guess that involves not eating, eating them, not supporting the torture and slaughter of innocent beings. I don't want to be a part of that. That's horrible. Were well, you vegetarian before you went vegan? I was. What kind of spurred on this vegetarian move? Well, uh... Is this a pear microphone? It's a pear microphone. I visited a broiler farm when I was 12 years old and it was horrific. We pulled up quite far from the broiler farm, I think it was a kilometre or so, and I could smell it. It smelled revolting. It smelled like sickness, it smelled like feces. Um, yeah, I was only 12, as I said, still really young. Got to these massive sheds, just it looked like a concentration camp, just rows of sheds. Um, opened the door, it was open, just went in and couldn't even uh, barely walk in the shed because it was just flooded in white chickens, cram. Um, they got frightened at us walking in so they backed up a little and it made kind of a semicircle in the ground that we were able to stand on and I was shocked because prior to that I, I didn't want to eat animals so I'd stopped eating everything besides chickens so I was still eating chickens and um yeah the, the chickens were huge they were like this big they had huge breasts um from all the hormones and steroids and everything they'd been fed uh they're only, they're only babies, but they look like adults because of the growth formulas. Um, but their bones are still like that of a child, still soft, still tender. So they weren't, most of the chickens aren't able to keep up with the, um, their bones can't keep up with the weight and therefore most of their bones break. So there were a lot of chickens with broken legs, unable to reach food or water, just dehydrating. It was really horrible, so we rescued a few. Um, took them to the vet, they had six different diseases. And anyway, um, I stopped eating chickens after that, naturally, because I didn't need to support that. So that's why I went vegetarian. Then I was 15 and had considered the realities of dairy and egg industry quite a bit and knew it was horrific, knew I was being a hypocrite, saying I didn't eat animals because I loved them. But still supporting the dairy and egg industry and so one day I had a chocolate bar in my hand and I just went no I can't eat this and I, I didn't and I haven't since and um, yeah basically animals have just as much of right to be alive as you or I do they want to live just as much as we do only they don't communicate it in the human language so we just ignore it and that's why I'm vegan Take the microphone now. Louis, why are you vegan? I'm vegan because animals want to live more than they want to eat their body. You see my hoodie? Pretty much that's why. Yeah, and so were you vegetarian before you went vegan? Indeed I was. 
So I studied philosophy and psychology at uni. I've nearly finished. In the first term, we had we studied ethics, and I chose to write an essay on animal equality. I can't remember what the essay title was, but it was basically animal rights. Um, so I studied like people like Peter Singer and Tom Reagan, like classical ethicists, and I concluded that animals have a right to live. So I couldn't. I had to stop eating them. I had to stop eating them completely. It made it maybe a little bit easier that I'd been cooking pretty much entirely vegetarian the whole year, the whole academic year until I wrote that essay because it was cheaper. So it's cheaper, and then I decided to cut it out, cut all meat out. Good. That's um, interesting. And so then, how did that transform into veganism? Well, I was I was a real like animal rights activist, vegetarian. So I would argue with everyone. I was actually, I came from a, a Christian perspective before that. And then I wrote this essay and I was like, well, that, that's logic. That's logic right there. And then I looked at the Bible and I was like, oh, none of this makes sense. How can they even justify eating animals? So I, I argued with all the Christian, my Christian friends. And none of them could really give any kind of answer apart from God gave animals to us to eat. So I was, I was like chasing people down, left, right and centre, being like, why are you eating animals? They're not food, they're friends. This, that and the other. I was like, real. I didn't even know veganism existed. Then I went to Australia and I was, my plan was to start up a vegetarian club at the university there where I was on exchange, but there was already a vegetarian club, all right, yeah, um, run by Liz, Liz Finney, and she was probably the first vegan I'd met, so I was like, whoa, what is this vegan, who is this vegan, how, how can you live without cheese, uh. yogurt, eggs, pears, um, and so a few days later, we, we all went down to Sydney with my friend Zoe to check out or to see Melanie Joy talk about carnism, which is a try, uh, like a psychological explanation of why we eat pigs but don't eat dogs and wear cows. I think she wrote a book, I'll put the link below. Um, and then Zoe and I agreed to go vegan on the spot. So we went vegan, met loads of vegan people, met Beth about two weeks later, fell in love. At the vegetarian club. Vegan for life. But if veganism isn't, it is, it's all about the animals. Completely. It may seem like through our YouTubes we're into veganism because we think it's healthy we think we're gonna get skinny or have more energy, but it's not, it's not a selfish thing at all. It's completely for the animals. It always will be for the animals because they need us. They need our voices because no one's listening to theirs. And it just so happens to be that it's the healthiest lifestyle. It's most environmentally friendly lifestyle and it's the lifestyle that's gonna change the world. Yeah. Thanks for listening. If you like this, subscribe. If you wanna hear more, just ask. We have much more we can share. Thumbs up. Um, and stop eating animals because we don't want you to eat them. <laughs> <laughs>